to open this area here as a temporary cycle path. Um, it would run, this is near the Lodica, it would run to Talbot Road and to Sandy Park. The reason I'm pushing for this, and um, Tim is also, is because we've realised that there's a massive increase in cycle and walking over the last 12 months for obvious reasons. And um, the beauty of this proposal is that we could get this opened on a temporary basis and see how people respond. This doesn't take away from the other proposals for rapid transport that are happening at the same time. The proposed cycle path would bypass the Bath Road, which as you can see is really busy, not very pleasant for cyclists or walkers. I can see lots of things happening. I can see here, I can see skateboarding, um, cycling, kids learning to cycle because it's very safe. Um, I just think it's got a lot of potential. But the main thing is, it just means this, this wasted outdoor space where nothing is happening gets a bit of usage. Whatever happens with this space long term, it has got loads of really nice trees, a lot of foliage and things like that. There's wildlife birds. Um, so I'd, I think it's a really good opportunity to just use the area, um, but, but rather than waiting three or four years for a decision to be made, we use it right now. You know there's been quite a few campaigns um, to get this area opened as a cycle path, and we're not taking away from that. It's been great that that, that, that dialogue's been going. Um, what we did was go to the council, the appropriate departments, which is Transport and Infrastructure, and speak to them about using this on a temporary basis now rather than in several years time in whatever capacity and ultimately um, it will be the community that decides what happens with this long term but for now with all the other cycle routes being so busy it makes perfect sense to us to get this open as soon as possible.